Mike's Daily Podcast. F -F episode 1603, 1603. I'm Mike Matthews, broadcasting from Cafe Anyway, located somewhere in Podcastro Valley Mont, the last place on earth. Today is Friday here at Cafe Anyway, so where, whatever you're listening to the show, thank you. There's, well, no diamonds and silk on this show. I can't believe what the hell. Mike's. Daily podcast. I'm gonna I'm gonna complain about the right and conservatives like Dennis Prager complains. Mike's Daily Podcast about liberals. What the hell? Why do conservatives have such crappy taste? They listen to some or watch the Diamonds and Silk show. Yay! They like that kind of thing. But that's all right because we got a big world, lots of entertainment. For you to choose from And maybe you like Diamonds and Silk Who are pro-Trump And I guess get defended By senators Mike's Daily Podcast Correction Representatives House of Representatives Mark Zuckerberg Had to defend that Mike's Hey, you know what? Daily I don't know exactly what happened Podcast But Diamonds and Silk got Yeah they, they got flagged For some reason I don't know They could have said something That bordered on terrorism and they flagged it. They have flagged. They flagged a friend of mine because he kept posting pictures of him with beautiful ladies. Albeit these beautiful ladies were at a porn convention. I don't know what that means. Uh, except that Stormy Daniels is all over the news lately. Hey, I had a someone liked my show, and someone liked the uh, the picture, the podcast picture yesterday. Oh, my cousin did. That's good. On Facebook. Speaking of which. And someone I know that I met long ago, last year, also liked the... the Because she's got dogs. And then a guy that is a head of a band in, I think, South Carolina. He has a... He also liked the... That's nice. Three likes. That's all I need is three likes in my life. And these wonderful people that have walked in. Hello. Like that person. That sounded kind of like a bird. Like a bird sound. It was a bird. That's the word. So we'll say hi to the characters. But I think I got, I got to do the podcast picture today. And here's today's podcast picture. I am so thankful it's Friday. This week seemed longer than usual. And last night, as I was lying in bed, at the, er, just trying to get to sleep before 9 o'clock, because I wake up so early, I started thinking about five years ago. When Now, I have a pretty good relationship with my ex-wife now, but at the time... You know, I was thinking about when relationships go bad, go south. And I thought about how that last year was pretty bad. And not that there was a lot of... There wasn't any verbal abuse. There was more of just communication, the lack of communication. And I know I'm very aware of things... Of times of when things are going downhill. And I was, well, I, I knew something was up. I, I thought of it as a big wall that was developing between the two of us. And the wall got bigger and bigger and bigger. And then finally, well, something had to be done and we got divorced. But that leading up to, I mean, it, it could have been. Worse, and I know it could have been worse in that I have talked to people who have been through much, much worse. And on a show that I was producing yesterday, there was a lady on who was talking to another lady. And she was, at first, I had no idea where this, the conversation was going. I just recorded and then put it on, uh, the, put it on the air, basically, and then as a podcast. And I was recording... The conversation between the two of them And one of them was telling her story Of how she uh, Was abused by her husband To the point that actually One day he pulled out a gun 
And, well, the, as she told the story, I'm like, oh, my gosh, what? And she survived being shot by him, not once, but many times. And he even shot her daughter. Thankfully, the daughter survived, and she survived. And she says that this has given her strength. She started an organization, uh, basically religious-based, that she ta- helps people... She was pointing out the whole issue In a lot of Christian churches When women are being abused There is this horrible theme in the Bible Of being of women have to be submissive to men And that gets taken to a complete extreme it, It's the reason why this world is screwed up uh, So they... They have to She In her organization She's based in Atlanta, Georgia And I don't have the name of it It's um, The show is called Love Never Fails Radio If you want to look that up That is The show that I produced Is going to be uh, On the internet After this weekend And they were just, So she Has started this organization To try and combat Because uh, she herself Is Christian And is in the church and she just wants the church to recognize hey uh when women are being abused you need to do what when everybody is abused you have to uh you know go through get the the law involved and get um get get her out of there because it's a dangerous situation so it was fascinating the conversation between the two of them and i thought about when relationships go bad and as if you're an adult if you're someone in your 30s or 40s, 50s, you've been through something like this at some point, a relationship going bad. Not to the extreme of being shot, hopefully. Hopefully not. Uh, but that you've, you've, you know what I'm talking about. So that was fascinating and got me thinking about just the... Ugh, I hate when relationships end. I hate it. But sometimes it's good that they end and you move on. And it's, yeah. And then I kept hearing on the three stations that I help maintain in Fremont, uh, on two of the diff- different stations, the whole concept of when you're in a relationship and you have to walk on eggshells because anything will trigger, anything will set off the other. And just that, I hate that too. But then it brought me to... The fact that after my wife and I had the conversation, hey, we're going to split. We're done. This is over. Let's begin working on it. We're going to have, we're going to be as fair to each other as possible as we can. And she's now very happy uh, married. I've talked about it on the recent show that um, her daughter recently had her one year birthday and that you know she's happily married now and i'm happy for her that she found happiness but the uh, after right after immediately after we split i went on a trip i had never been to portland oregon and i always wanted to go so at actually my ex-wife was like you should go you should go i never wanted to go there you wanted to go you should just go and i went and i was looking at pictures of it because it was about uh Five years ago that I went on I went on that trip and oh my gosh I look at the pictures and I look at myself and I look so sad <laughs> but I had such a great time in Portland just well uh, I like exploring new cities and it's such a neat city and I'm trying to find a podcast picture of something from that Portland trip and I just can't seem to find anything it's sad there because I don't want to show you a picture of me in Portland five years ago. I had this horrible goatee. It's why I don't have facial hair now, and I will never have facial hair again. This goatee was just ragged and fluffy, and I looked like I owned a Harley. And I would, uh, I looked just so sad with this goatee. And shortly after I came back from Portland, I shaved it off permanently. It's gone. I always shave it off. I always feel fantastic when I st- I'm clean shaven. It's so wonderful. I hate facial hair now. But I will post a picture of this brewery called Amnesia. 
How about that? Or, you know, I should post pictures somewhere of, of Mississippi. This There's this, uh, the Mississippi district. And yeah, I'll, I'll post something from there. And I'll describe it in the podcast picture at mikesdailypodcast.com. The other fun thing about visiting Mississippi, the Mississippi section of Portland, is I got to talk with the lead singer of the band Ages and Ages. Now, I've forgotten his name, but Ages and Ages, you can hear that interview at mikesdailypodcast.com. In the A section, A through, was it A through F or something? Yeah, and they're a good band. Kind of like Edward... Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros, but they got some cool sound and tunes. So I think I'll post this picture. Yes. Okay. This has got the bikes. It's and Portland's all about bikes. And so we'll have that. I forget the name of this place, but anyway, it's a neat little picture with all kinds of bright colors. You'll enjoy it at mikesdailypodcast.com. When Mark Zuckerberg was being interrogated by the House of Representatives. It was much tougher than the Senators. Senators was kabuki theater. It was more sort of, oh, we should have regulations. What do you think, Mark Zuckerberg? And then the House of Representatives was diamonds and silk, diamonds and silk. Uh, uh, But there was an Alaskan, Alaskan? A senator from Alaska who said to Mark Zuckerberg, the conditions that you have for use... Uh, your privacy rules suck. You need to go back and work on that. That was a great comment. And then also there was a senator talking to him saying, hey, you know, only in America you c- could a guy start a company in his dorm basically with nothing and have this multi-billion dollar international company. Is that true? And Mark Zuckerberg, who never answered a question yes or no, was well senator i would say in china there are a lot of good developers and then the senator jumped in and said you're supposed to say yes <laughs> that was a great part of the th- you may have missed that i would have pulled the actual comment but it's friday and i'm just wiped out from getting up early all week but there's a couple people here including that bird you heard earlier cuz the bird is the word <laughs> Let's say hi. Hello, Michael Myers. It's Madame Rudevega. I have been to Portland, Oregon. I used to date the mayor. Ooh. And that was good? It was fun. We had a good time. We went on a cruise ship together. And you brought the cruise ship with you. I see it there. At Cafe Anyway. How is that even possible? Oh. It's possible because it's the podcast... Mike's Daily Podcast here at Cafe Anyway. Anyway. Look who else is here. Hello, dear Mike. This is Valentino, the parking attendant. And this is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? Mike, we like this picture here that you got from uh, Portland or whatever. Yeah. Beer. Do you know that? Yeah, there's a lot of beer in Portland. Lots of beer. And they always have happy hours. An Ohio family... Helps rescue ba- baby man, uh, baby manatee during their Florida v- vacation. I have pictures of manatees. I've seen manatees when I've gone to Florida visiting my mom. And in fact, I was in the, this little pool of water once, and I looked over. Hey, there's a manatee practically right next to me. But you're not supposed to touch them ever. A distressed manatee was rescued thanks to the help of, of an Ohio family. Florida Fish and Wildlife, Wildlife Conservative Committee said that the family was vacationing there when they spotted a lone little manatee in shallow water. They called the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission and stayed on the phone near the manatee until rescuers arrived. And now the manatee's getting treatment at the Miami Sea Aquarium. Uh, apparently it hadn't nursed in several days and was, and was dehydrated, so the... It's uh, going to recover. Yay. Manatees are big and cute and just the craziest (laughs) creatures on the planet. Outside of my wonderful dog, Basil the Boxer, who's going to go walking with a cat this weekend. Yes, I hope to tell you a very interesting story about that next podcast. There will be no Super Secret Sunday show, though. 
because I'm taking this weekend off for my part-time job. I gotta. Last week, I, I just... My last nerve. You know? You know what I'm saying? The last... It's gone. The straw's broken my back because I'm a camel. Back to... Oh, it is nothing less than the most devastating contemporaneous takedown of a sitting president in modern history. This according to CNN, James Comey. The James Comey storm. It makes me mildly nauseous. Brewing, menacing on the horizon for months. Slammed into the White House just after 5 o'clock yesterday as the first leaks of his explosive new book started gushing out. Proving that revenge is a dish best served cold, Comey waited 11 months to exact his distribution for his dismissal, but his retribution for his dismissal by Trump last May when it came. It was unsparing, richly detailed, and mortifying for the president. He painted Trump as a relentless liar who was obsessively unethical, devoid of humanity, and a slave to his ego. Yes. Who is clueless about his job and unconcerned about a Russian assault on American democracy. Is this true, Trump? Wrong. Jabbing the president in a strikingly personal way, Comey noted the size of Trump's hands, said his skin looked orange, and described white rings around his eyes from tanning goggles. (laughs) But, and that's, I think we'll call today's show Goggles. That sounds good. But Comey isn't just about to hurt. And you ever noticed how that looks like Google? Okay, maybe it's just me. But Comey isn't just out to hurt Trump's feelings. He is on a more profound mission. His book is a parable about the threat from a brazen president who demands a warped concept of loyalty and only has disdain for the rule of law. Hell hath no furry, fu- furry, fury like an FBI director scorned. Former Trump economic advisor Stephen Moore said on CNN. As we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcaster Valley. Ah, oh, this is just putting... Conservatives must just hate the FBI right now because of the whole raid of Michael Cohen's, the lawyer for Trump's uh, office. And just, I heard... I was listening to some awful conservative talk show... That one of the radio stations I work for carries. And they were the, just to hear the host, who is usually a very, very smart man, who is a lawyer, just doing these backspin pretzel logic contortions to try to defend Trump. Just to, to, to try and defend, oh, well, you know, there's no reason why they should go into Michael to question Michael Cohen or anything. There's nothing, nothing, Michael Cohen hasn't done anything wrong. And you're like, what? Have you not been alive for the past two weeks? Stormy Daniels at all? I don't, they, they, at least, if you have nothing to hide, then what are you worrying about? That should be the big phrase, right? And that, that could pertain to this lady here as well that I can't find with her. I'm now back to being an activist citizen and part of the resistance. And to maybe 90% of the politicians, if you have nothing to hide, then you have nothing to fear. But anyway, Cafe Anyway, this has been anyway. an interesting show. I think that I, oh, oh, people, this is one last thing. As we get closer and closer to uh, taxes and this little guy showing up. I'm the tax man. Yeah. No, not John Lennon. Rest in peace. No, the tax man. Uh, Yeah, as that approaches, people are getting money back with their taxes. Although I did talk to someone yesterday who said they're going to have to pay a lot. But a a lot of people are are praising on Facebook Trump because of the tax. And they're like, yeah, thanks to Trump and the tax plan. No, the tax plan didn't go, does not go into effect till next year. You won't see any effect of it till next year. So why are you praising Trump now? That makes no sense about that. And that's it. Okay, enjoy your goggles this weekend. Whatever you're going to do, thank you for listening to the show. Next show, we will have, I guess, Shelly Shuhart, Floyd the Floorman, and John Deere the Engineer will pop on by. 
that will be awesome and I enjoyed having you listen this past week because it was like a, you were a friend and we should friends are there or aren't they in the worst of times some bad times and that we need the friends to help us get through the bad times it's there's no trip to Portland that will help more like a friend will is what I'm trying to say as I wrap up the show did I wrap that up I think it's wrapped up okay good happy weekend Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews his podcast is super easy to find Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.